This is Drew at Drew Motion Art. Welcome to the first uh, video After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to figure out how to make this nifty little rocket flame animation. So let's begin. So uh, first off, I've already made this kind of uh, blue background. All I'm really going to do is shy this because I kind of like to keep these these hidden so I don't have to mess with them at all. Next, go ahead and make a new layer, a new solid. Uh, it can be any color you want. I like to choose black because you can do some different screen options with those. Um, but for this specific effect, it's not a big ideal uh, idea. So first off, you want to go to Effects and Presets. Go to CC Particle Systems, not CC Particle World. CC Particle Systems. Drag it onto your stage and you will see this kind of nice little firework pom-pom sort of thing. So uh, let me tell you what settings you want to you want to produce here to kind of get the effect you're looking for. So first off, you want to change the uh, animation to vortex instead of explosive. It'll kind of give you this little tornado looking effect. And uh, let's mess with that a little bit. First off, we'll uh, change the velocity a little bit more to 2. And um, next off, you want to maybe change the gravity. Um, I, th I find 0 works best here. It kind of narrows that cone all the way down. And we'll do some other stuff here and we'll start getting more of that shape we want. So uh, on the particle type, you want to go to Faded Sphere. Uh, a few others might work here, but I've found Faded Sphere works pretty well for this specific thing, especially once we start putting in the birth size and death size. So for birth size, we'll put 0.6. Death size, let's go 0.2. And uh, you can see we kind of got this blobby looking thing right now. Um, what I want to do is I want to mess with the longevity. Turn that down. Let's go down to about 0.5. That's seconds. So you can kind of start to see how that's tapering off now. So that's good. And uh, what else do we want to do here? Yeah, I think velocity, we might want to bring that down just a little bit. That might be a little high. 1.5 will work. You can you can keep it at 2, whatever. You can kind of mess around, but... Um, you know, I think the particle type is probably more important. Longevity uh, is is also important, and then you want to make sure uh, you scrub through and see how that's playing through. Uh, I also like to go on the producer and change the radius uh, x to zero. You can also kind of move that down in your frame so it doesn't run off your stage. And so now you can see we got this nice little kind of pointy cone thing happening already kind of looks like a, a rocket blast uh, that you might see on a jet or a missile or a rocket of some sort. I'm going to mess with the birth size a little bit. Change that up. Okay, play through. Let's see how that looks. Very nice. So uh, I'm, I'm still fiddling with this longevity. Uh, anyways, so uh, next what we want to do is uh, you can actually go to screen here on the transfer mode and you've already got kind of a, uh, a rocket fuel looking look here. It looks a little bit more realistic but it also looks a little more uh, CG if you will. So what we actually want to do is make it more cartoony. So I'm going to keep that on composite and then what I'm going to do is my effects and presets I'm going to type fill. Let's go ahead and do that and uh, let's fill it with uh, kind of a medium orange a burnt orange color would be good. So uh, it doesn't really matter what you do. You can use the hex value I used or just uh, make one of your own. I'll rename this because this is now going to be kind of my my base flame layer or the outer part of the flame if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and we'll name that flame inner. So now all I have to do because I've already made these settings change this to white and then here's the important part to make this cartoony. So I'm going to type in choke. You want to get the simple choker, not the matte choker. Start cranking that up and you can see how that starts to kind of uh, diminish the overall size. And as you can see, it's got the same attributes as the flame outer, but it is uh, got a bit of an offset to it. So I'm going to put that same choker on the outer layer as well, and I'm going to drag that up just a tiny bit so that also looks a little bit more cartoony and not so blurred out and faded. 
uh, the blur is not uh, necessarily something that is, you're going to see in, in a cartoon looking thing. So I'm going to change that flame inner to overlay on the blending mode. And you can see that's kind of a nice little flame. It looks more like a rocket flame than you know a flame you might get off a matchstick or something like that. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pre-comp those together. We'll call it uh, rocket flame. That'll work. Make sure remove all your attributes is checked. And I'm going to skip ahead here as I uh, forgot to add my other illustration illustrated layer. So uh, I'm going to bring in this uh, missile layer. Now I didn't make this. I got this at vectezy.com. I'll put the I'll put the link in the uh, in the description here. Uh, it's just a website where you can get a lot of free vector files. Um, of course, you know you can make your own, but for the purpose of this, this is a animation tutorial and not a how to build a missile in Illustrator files. Uh, so we're just going to bring this one in for the sake of brevity. Oops, I uh, put my scale in the wrong spot there. Just one sec. Let's move that. Get that back to 100. Okay, so let's move the X position of the rocket flame there so it lines up with the booster area of our missile. Next, I want to pick whip this to our missile. So wherever the missile goes, our flame will go. And uh, I've got a nice little wiggle thing I've put in here. Um, I'll also put that in the description. Basically what that's going to do is it's just going to wiggle the Y value. And so, you know, this kind of gives you the effect that a missile might uh, get when it's, you know, experiencing some turbulence and wind resistance. I'm going to move that to 2 instead of 1. There we go. Now it's uh, dipping and diving a little bit faster. And uh, the rocket flame that we built is going wherever it goes. And uh, because we use that CC particle systems thing, it also has a nice little area where it extends out as if it's first coming out of your rocket. So there you go. There is our rocket flame. And it looks kind of cartoony and fun. And uh, you can obviously add some background elements here to make it really look like it's flying through the atmosphere or uh, you know towards its target. Add some wind particles. And uh, thank you for viewing.